Dear Diary, I'm heartbroken, shocked, and angry. Me and my best friend Emma broke off our friendship. We got into this huge argument. I mean, we do argue sometimes, but not like this. This was a serious argument. I said some things, she said some things, and we ended up blocking each other. It hurt. I'm mad at her, but I miss talking to her every day. But at the same time, I know it would be toxic to continue this friendship. I don't know what to do. You know, sometimes I feel like I need a vacation from socializing. Because interacting with humans is exhausting. More exhausting than running three miles. Back in the caveman days, if you shared a piece of meat with someone, then you were automatically friends. However, these days, you feel more pressure to bring a lot to the table. Starting relationships is hard, especially when it comes to friendships. But after you get through that awkward first stage, the rest is bliss. You get to laugh, cry, and sing with each other. They're the cheerleader that cheers you on. I wouldn't say you're two peas in a pod. I would more say you're salt and pepper. Different personalities, but still go well together. But then, this friendship hits a wall. It's usually a slow process, like boiling water. But once it starts steaming, only then do you feel the effects. You guys just don't see eye to eye anymore. Just like how a video game might have multiple paths, there are multiple reasons why your friendship could have ended. One reason might be because of circumstances. Life changed. Maybe you moved schools away from your friend, or you guys aren't living in the same neighborhood anymore. Life moved on faster than you wanted it to. Another reason could be because of distance. And I'm not just talking about physical distance, I'm talking about an emotional distance. I mean, you want to experience new friendships with other people. So you're bored of this one. I mean, you've been friends with Sarah for like six years or ever since kindergarten. You want to talk to other people and branch out. Or maybe it could be because of a negative reason. Maybe your friends spent too much time cutting you down than building you up. They treated you like a peasant, as if they were the queen. <sighs> the only way to break out of this toxic pattern is to leave, or else you'll be stuck in their dungeon of bullying forever. Whatever the reason is, bottom line, that friendship is over, done, closed down like a shop. It may open soon in the future, but for now, it is over. Over. Now the real question is, how do you move forward from XBFFs? I'm your host Shasha Onyx, and on my game show today, we're gonna see if this contestant knows the correct answer to this question. Ready, duplicate Shasha Onyx? Ready! Alright, the question is, how should you deal with XBFFs? Should you A. Block them B. Rant about them on social media, airing out their dirty laundry. C. Force them to try to become friends with you again. Or D. Wish them the best and move on. Hmm, I think all the above except for D. What kind of answer is that? I can never move on so easily. I have to create drama before ending the friendship. You are incorrect. The correct answer is D. Yep, that game host is right. The best thing you can do after ending a friendship is to leave in peace. No texting back and forth, no arguing to prove your point, no ranting to people, and no trying to get back at them. Be the mature one in this situation and leave in peace. I know this may seem hard, but trust me, it's the best thing you can do for yourself. It feels so much better living a friendship clean of drama rather than leaving it with messy drama. In a few years, you would be so grateful that you didn't say anything that you'd regret. One way that could help you leave in peace is to put yourself in your friend's shoes. I know it's tempting to play the blame game, but in situations like these, Usually, it's not black and white, it's usually gray. Meaning that it's not one is right, one is wrong, one is a villain, one is not. Usually, you're actually both wrong. No one is actually at fault, unless you were being bullied. I know it's tempting to try and draw your perfect BFF, but that's unrealistic, no one is perfect. There's going to be fights in every single friendship. The best thing you can do is to not sweat over the hard parts. Just focus on relishing the good parts of your friendship. 
and hopefully after you've broken up with your ex BFF, you'll be able to find a new good and long lasting friendship. If you already have, consider yourself lucky because finding a good friend is rarer than finding a four leaf clover. Dear Diary, even though me and Emma ended on a bad note, I wish her all the best.